Uh, thanks, Nate. So I just want to take you back before we talk about last weekend. The weekend before was a really tough one. Clan came bouncing back. Great result against Edinburgh. But a really tough game in uh, in Sheffield and, uh, and a great night for you, of course, as well. Yeah, you know, it was, we had a pretty good weekend that weekend. It was uh, tough for the travel. Uh, th- it was three and three, but, you know, we got or three games that weekend, but we got uh, five, six points. It would have been nice to get that that sixth one in Sheffield, but, uh, you know, a couple uh, calls didn't go our way and they ended up scoring overtime. It's the first time you've played in that arena as yeah. well. What was it like going to these kind of bigger arenas as well? Did you enjoy that experience there? Yeah, it's nice. You know, though, uh, it's a big rink. It's fun to play in. Uh, they, have, they have good fans, but it's nice. It's fun. I like, I like enjoy playing the smaller rinks too, like Fife or uh, Cardiff, when the you know the fans are kind of right on right on top of you. Were you kind of warned about that coming over to the league? You've got like a real mix match of uh, of sizes of ice and arena stuff. Were you kind of prepared for that? You got to change up your game a lot. Yeah, it does. I, I didn't really know that before I got over here, but as soon as I got here, you know, Finner and, and uh, the guys were here. Other years, I told you, you know, you. you go to a small, small rink in Cardiff one night and then uh, uh, Olympic size the next night somewhere else so yeah somehow it's, it's a, something you, you know kind of affects your game a little bit being a defenseman but you don't really worry about it. What elements does it kind of affect for you if we've chatted to players before they kind of mentioned that those little kind of puck clearances you you think you've given it a little enough of a nudge like, oh, <laughs> a little no, bit more. It's more like I think uh, like on the rush when the guy's coming down on you one-on-one and there's more room for him uh, like on the outside where in the smaller rink you know the boards are right there so especially me when I want to step up and make a hit you have to be a little more more uh, careful on the big ice that uh, you don't want the guys step around you because there's a little more, little more room. Yeah, and obviously a great result then in Sheffield. I mean, to take a point. I mean, obviously it was tough in the manner it happened. Some penalties were, were called into question yeah. by the, the coaching team here, but a great result there nonetheless. You must have been happy coming away from that one. Yeah, you know they're a really good team and to go in there and you know tough travel, travel all day, go in there. And I think we came out, came out really strong, took a three-one lead, and they got that uh, goal late in the late in the second. You know, kind of made three-two, and then. Then uh, they tied it up. Then you know the too many men uh, calling overtime. I don't know. I didn't see see if we had too many or not. But anyways, and great for yourself to get on uh, get on the scoring mark. Yeah, finally. I know. I felt I was getting a few chances. <laughs> <laughs> I felt I was getting a few chances the last uh, few weeks. So it's finally nice to get one go go in for me. Fantastic stuff. And obviously, we're going to have to talk about as well the Fife game. Obviously, it's been two games we've played against them, and it's been pretty, you know, convincing victories for the clan. But I mean, we know that Fife team are no mugs. They've definitely got plenty of talent there, and they certainly had the bit between their teeth. It was quite a dull game, but I mean, did you see that coming? They were going to be a different Fife. Uh, you know, we went in there early in the year, and I think we won five-one. You know, and it was kind of different. Uh, it was a different game. We didn't play all week. Uh, just, just one game, so it was, a, it was a kind of a weird week. And we go in there, and I think I think we came out pretty uh, pretty good. And then it wasn't didn't, nothing much happened all game. You know, it wasn't a whole lot of scoring chances either way. Then they get a they get a break in the third and uh, go ahead one nothing, and we weren't able to equalize it. What was the feeling in the, the locker room after that one? Then obviously it wasn't really an expected result. No, you know I think it's one we let we, we let slip away. So none of the guys are too uh, too too happy about that one. What was the deal? And so you've been on the ice today in practice. Has there been any kind of changing up? We've seen the lines kind of changing up throughout yeah. games. Is that the kind of things you've been working on with the with the look of Belfast coming on? Yeah, I think I think they made one change in the lineup uh, last game. It flipped flipped a couple of guys around, but as for the D, we have we've had the same uh, same partners partners all year. You must be pretty happy. Top of the penalty kill at the moment, and only behind uh, two teams for for a number of goals conceded. It's looking pretty solid actually at the back, isn't it? Yeah, it is. You know, I think uh, we've got a pretty good group back there. We're uh, pretty close. We talk uh, talk quite a bit with each other, and uh, we're pretty familiar with each other. Yeah, and you're fitting in really well with Zach Sullivan, obviously a young up-and-coming Brit. How do you feel he's kind of coming along, and is it becoming a good partnership? Yeah, it is. He's, you know, he's come, he's come a long way. He's, uh, I really enjoy playing with him. He's making good plays, and uh, you know, I like working with him. I kind of had that uh, throughout the years in North America, kind of helping out the younger guys and bringing them up. So I'm enjoying that so far. It's looking good as well, and you're looking forward to obviously a big Halloween special then against the Belfast Giants. Obviously, it was an interesting game over there. Uh, the scoreline maybe doesn't really tell the whole story. It was actually a very tight game, wasn't it? Two uh, open nets at the end. Uh, how do you think it will go this weekend? You know, it's going to be a big challenge for us. You know, they're a good team coming in here. They play hard, and uh, you know, we, last game in Belfast, I thought we played pretty well. Uh, they think they scored late, uh, a couple minutes left to go ahead, and got a couple, a couple empty netters. So it was a lot closer than. Uh, and the score sheet said, but so we're looking forward to this game Saturday night. What do you think is the key to, to beating the Belfast Giants from what you've seen? I know it's never hard to pick out a kind of thing, but is there anything you think we can pick out? Uh, Nothing. I only played them once. So I can't really pick anything out. Yeah, yeah just I think we've got to be more worried about our game right now. You know, we're kind of 
we don't have to lose that one to Fife. We don't have to be too worried about who we're playing. We just got to come in Saturday night and play our game. And that's what we kind of talked about today. You know, everyone do their job. And uh, if, you know, if everyone plays to the best of their ability, we'll get the results. So Ryan, after a great battling weekend, uh, the previous weekend, just a one game weekend here, and it's obviously a disappointing result against Fife. Did you see that one coming? Obviously Fife have had some pretty tough score lines against us recently. They were bound to get the bit between their teeth. Yeah, it was, uh, it was, we knew it was going to be tough just with the way, you know, we didn't skate Saturday. Um, you know, and, and going in, we, we didn't want to get overwhelmed. You know, our game plan was to, to be even or better out of the first. You know, Fife can come out pretty hard. And sometimes when you don't you don't get on the ice the day before and the, and the whole day leading up, it, it sounds crazy, but it, it actually is a bit worse, you know, and, and uh and we didn't want to we didn't want to be coming from behind so we actually kind of executed what our, our plan was and control uh take away the neutral zone because they got good speed and you know but uh defensively we played great we gave up 20 shots you know we didn't we didn't give them just uh, offensively we didn't create anything uh, it was a pretty uh pretty boring game you know if you for from a fan's point of view and it uh you know and it was always going to be you know past when it when it got into that third period there was always going to be kind of a, a a one mistake game and and whoever got that first goal i think you could tell that that was probably going to be it and unfortunately you know we uh we make a we make a mistake in our end and it ends up in the back of our net and we we just couldn't find the equalizer you end up changing the lines around a little bit there again and obviously the brit line kind of the boys came out there and created a bit of havoc and then created some power play opportunities did you take some pluses from that is that something you can utilize those guys for yeah, I thought I thought the the Haywood Davies Nesbit line was our best line when we we put them together in the second third period and um, I thought they played really well. That was the line they we, they played within the Champions League as well, you know, and, and they were they were pretty good as uh, pretty good there there. You know, we got we got so many combinations and, and so many different looks. I don't think we're we're quite done. You know, we're still not scoring the goals we want to score and we're still not playing the game we want to play. So we are we are tinkering and, and typically if you look back I don't change my lines up that much, but sometimes you got to uh, you know, in, in recent years past and, yeah. and sometimes you got to you got to keep looking for that for that fix and, and see what you got. But um, you know it's uh, it's disappointing anytime you lose. You never you're never happy. You know, like I said, and it's it's not something where you know we can walk out and say we did okay and and, and move on. So, but at the end of the day here we we, we skated today. We got a we got a huge game. You know, an opportunity to go to go first in in the Challenge Cup yeah. in our division here. Uh, our last game here in the prelims and and, and and against a good good quality side. It's interesting, I mean, looking at some of the stats as well, I mean, there's no, as you say, no top scorers at the moment in the rankings, but top penalty kill in the league, is that a sign that you're getting it right defensively at the moment? It's just a case of getting these combinations right up front now. Yeah, we're, you know, we're, we're right behind Sheffield and Nottingham for, for the least amount of goals against. Um, you know, we're top in our penalty kill. You know, so on the on the defensive side, we're we're fine. You know, and in, and just on the offensive side, we need guys to get going. At the end of the day, we uh, we need guys to score goals. We got a lot of guys here with offensive abilities. You never thought in a million years we'd we'd struggle to score goals, and and they are coming. You know, it's not it's not like we're getting shut out every game. We we kind of broke that that goose egg, but we need we need consistency within our goal scoring, and and it, and it starts with your power play. You know, our power play needs to improve. Uh, you know, uh, on the road we're, we're just under 18 percent, and we're just under nine. I mean, we haven't played a ton at home here, but you know, with the with the weapons and the guys we have on it, we expect a lot better. So, it's an area here we're going to focus on all week. Um, but like I said, it's a it's a process. It's a, it's a different team from last year, and I know everybody expects us to, to just come out and run run the table. And you know, unfortunately, it's just not it doesn't seem to be going that way for anyone this year. Everyone's kind of win one, lose one, and and the home team seem to be dominant so far, but. It's um, it's not something that I uh, I accept. I don't like the win one lose one situation. We want to we want to get on a good run here, and we want to play some exciting hockey for our fans as well, you know. And we got we got a group in there. I still feel we got the group that that can do it, um, you know. And we we just gotta we just gotta prove it to ourselves more importantly than anyone here. And uh, we got a couple of games at home now, which is nice, yeah. you know, which is always nice. Um, so we'll, we'll we'll have a good crowd here on Saturday. We'll play a very good Belfast team, and and it's a huge game. You know, it's a huge game. The winner, you know, basically will probably capture that top seed. Um, so it's uh, it's exciting. We have something to look forward to. You know, it, it, it isn't fun just playing one game a week because you don't get that second opportunity to go back and, and correct the mistakes. You got to wait it all week. And, you know, but on the, on the plus side, if you can get a win, then you can you can feel good all week as well here. So it's uh, it's going to be a long week for us. We got a lot, uh, a lot to do and a lot to cover. But, um, you know, I, I'm I'm excited. And I think my I think the group here is going to respond.
I mean, as you say, important to have those home games coming up, and it's been a good record at home so far. This Belfast team was a team that Clan went over there and actually performed pretty well. Uh, like you say, plenty of shots. Uh, can you take a lot of confidence from that coming in here where the scoring has been good and the power play has been a lot better? Yeah, we went there. We pushed them right to the end. I thought we, we had... You know, on another day we would have been up a couple after the first, and uh, I think they had nine or ten power plays that day, uh, that night, and they they scored on their their last one with four minutes left, um, and that was the end of the game. That was, in, and then they got two empty net goals. So it was a one shot hockey game over there. They're good. They're they're a good team. They 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 play offensive. You know, they're going to push us, and and uh, you know I think uh, we haven't seen a team like them here yet. You know, so I think it'll be it'll be exciting. Uh, exciting for our fans. They're, they're a completely different outfit from what they were last year. They got a lot of new bodies. They got some good skill, some good leadership back there. Um, so I'm excited to, to go up against them again here. And, and um, I think it's a, it's, a, it's a good timing for our guys. We need, we need that challenge. We need, to, we need to be challenged here at home like that uh, against a good, a good quality side. And, you know, we got to see what, uh, where we stack up. Of course, they're a team that had a little bit of controversy recently, cancelling a game against Sheffield. Uh, are you a One Direction fan yourself? <laughs> Uh, it's kind of hard not to be after after all that, um, but yeah, no, I mean, yeah, obviously <laughs> you never like to see games cancelled like yeah. that, but I, that's for other people to deal with. I got I got I got a lot more on my plate here, so um, no, but in, in fairness, it's it's going to be a good game. Thanks very much. Cheers, Ryan. Thanks, Ed.